We are at the India Plus Social Good event and I have with me Frederica Meyer of the United Nations Population Fund and she's here to talk about some of the big issues uh, that we face in India. Uh, and uh, Frederica, you were mentioning uh, adolescent girls as a problem area and you said that 50% of, almost 40% of the uh, girls are married below the age of 18. Uh, how are uh, you helping us deal with that problem? Uh, well, United Nations Population Fund wants to work a lot on adolescent girls because, as you rightfully said, so 40% are married before the age of 18. And that's not the only problem. An additional problem is that a lot of girls get a child within the first nine months of marriage. So these two problems together mean that the girls are quite often dropping out of school, even if they are, they are most of them are already out of school, so they cannot fulfill to their full potential. So they cannot become a full citizen of society and they have more problems of raising their families in a healthy manner. So the United Nations Population Fund wants to work a lot with adolescent girls in the social media, what we heard all here today, can help us a lot to provide the information to the adolescent girls. How are you, are you already using the social media to reach out to these girls and how are you doing that? Uh, we are not working very much right now. We are working with the printed media for the adolescent girls, but training opportunities. For example, in India we have the Asha model, where the Asha is going to the village. She has a mobile and she can use a lot of social media to reach out, or she has reached through, through the social media and she can transfer the messages to the adolescent girls. So what we want to improve is the health awareness of the adolescent girls, so she has to go for delivery in a hospital, because when, Below the age of 18, your health risks are far higher of, uh, during pregnancy than after the age of 18. So that's what UNFPA tries to send those messages to the adolescent girls. We also do a lot of in-school information. And of course, in school, these are youngsters who are a little bit better off. So there we have a lot of mobile uh, messages going on. You've been here 11 years. Have you seen real progress during that time? For the adolescent girl, yes. We see that the adolescent girl is living less in isolation. We have, for example, programs, uh, not UNFPA, but a state program, to give bicycles to adolescent girls, which is improving a lot the mobility of adolescent girls, and that's very important. Uh, we have to make sure that they can be in touch with their peers. If they can talk about the problems, then they can also find a lot of solutions. Uh, and we know that young people are very creative. I mean, it's those young people who started with uh, social media, so they find solutions solutions themselves and what UNFPA tries to do is giving them uh, a platform to exchange those ideas and also to uh, discuss the ideas among themselves. Are you seeing enough uh, kind of collaboration between the various agencies, Frederica? I mean in terms of, you know, there are so many stakeholders here. Yeah. So do you uh, see enough happening in terms of networking? Uh, a lot is going on and especially in the last few years a lot of attention is raised for the adolescent girls which is absolutely great but we have to come more together and in that sense UNFPA is in the process of bringing more partners around the table also to share the good practices, the best models uh, uh, together with each other. Uh, for that sense, we are going to set up an adolescent center uh, where we have the best practices in one center in India because a lot of people don't know what's happening in Tamil Nadu and the others don't know what's happening in Bihar. So the social media can really help to, uh, to bring around the voices, the best practices particularly, and also the evidence on the table. Uh, because you should realize in India we have a youth population of 358 million between the age of 10 and 24. And this population is the size of the United States. I mean, it's an enormous amount and it's an enormous potential. So India should use that potential uh, for, for the benefit of the country. Thank you, Frederica, for that. And uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you.